What's up, people? So today I'm gonna show you how to tie a tie, mostly for the Junko cosplay, but you can use this for mostly like anything, you know? So I learned how to tie a tie when I was five years old for like Harry Potter cosplays. So if a five-year-old can tie a tie, everybody can do it, okay? And reason why uh, ties are super expensive is because is there's a lot of craftsmanship into like making a tie, okay? So I've made ties before too, and it's actually not that easy. So for me, like something that is made quickly, like in China with like the the chain steps it's kind of hard to believe so i assume that this is like the result that you get something very thin like that and it gets very very hard to do like a good bow uh, bow tie um, a good tie knot when your fabric is too thin so if you get a chance to actually like maybe replace the tie that comes with the cosplays you might actually get something better or if you've got any sewing skills you can just sew like um a piece of fabric in the back just to make it thicker but the thicker the tie and the nicer the edges the nicer and the easier your knot is going to be okay so i'm going to show you how to do this so first we flip the tie upside down like this okay and um you're gonna take the skinny part okay and fold it on top of the fat top like that and you gotta make sure that like you have enough like long because like this is kind of like your line so to say so like pull it a little bit like this okay and then you're gonna take the fat part okay and you roll it around the skinny part like this and then you take it again and you put it on underneath the collar okay like this put, get some loose get some loose like you're holding it like this now okay so like that's your knot and all you do is you flip it in there boop and it's done and keep in mind that junko is kind of a, if you study like your character properly don't pull it too hard once it's still loose you want to put the skinny part like this okay because you want your tie to be longer so if you want your tie to be shorter you just have to put like more skinny on the other side okay so um make sure that this is like underneath you don't want to fold it too much because it's gonna very look not good and um so like you just pull it so this you pull it but not too tight okay because when it's thicker you can actually pull it tighter because it's gonna look nice but if you just use the tie that comes with like the cosplay uh don't do that okay but keep in mind that junko is kind of like a no no crap given okay so you want to do your tie a little bit looser because she doesn't really care you know so and she has it actually fairly loose so like and what I really don't like, you know, like how it does like a bump like this is because the tie isn't thick enough. So this is why maybe you want to look for a nicer tie. But as long as you do your knot fairly loose, what you can do afterwards is maybe you can hook it with the bow that comes on the side. Or you can just take a safety pin like this one, you know. And what you can do afterwards is just pin the whole thing in the back so that it doesn't move and it should actually stay looser and you can tell like it's gonna be almost like invisible you know the whole thing yep voila now it's not gonna move and it's kind of loose as you can tell voila and you can barely see like the, the wig should cover it, honestly. But like that, that is the way that like your knot isn't going to move and it's going to stay loose. The way that Junko has it on the series, just like this. 